Good morning and welcome to Washington National Cathedral. My name is Randy Hollerith. I'm the Dean of the Cathedral. And as always, we're so glad that you can join us this morning for this brief service of morning prayer. God bless you wherever you are today. Let us begin. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us pray. Gracious God, help me today to realize that you will be speaking to me through the events of the day, through people, through things, and through creation. Give me ears and eyes and heart to perceive you, however veiled your presence may be. Give me insight to see through the exterior of things into the interior truth. Give me your spirit of discernment, O Lord, you know how busy I must be this day. If I forget you, do not forget me. Amen. Our collect for this morning. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that having this hope we may purify ourselves as he is pure that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading for today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten men with a skin disease approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When Jesus saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not ten made clean? So where are the other nine? Did none of them return to give glory to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. Here ends the lesson. It's really quite human, isn't it, to pay attention to God when we need something and then to forget about God most of the other times? That we pray to God and beseech God when difficult or even bad things are happening in our lives, but when all seems to be going well, we pay God little or at least less attention. The old saying that there are no atheists in foxholes, right? Well, in our lesson today, these 10 lepers or those with skin disease who are healed, only one turns around and comes back to Jesus and says, thank you. The others are celebrating that things are good. In our own lives, we have to remember to turn around and give thanks when things are good and when things are hard. Both occasions, God is with us. Some people like to do a blessing box where they write down good things that happen to them or a blessing that they receive and they put it in this box so that they can remember some of these good things and they can give God thanks for them. That's a great idea and I encourage you to try that. But I also encourage you to try an Ignatian practice which is on, in every evening as you get into bed to go through your day to start at the beginning of your day and when you got out of bed and when you got up all the way until when you got back in bed 
and to ask yourself, where was God with me today? Where did God show himself to me today? Maybe it was in the kind word of a stranger. Maybe it was in um, a small gift that you received. Maybe it was in the simple fact that your arthritis didn't hurt as much. And then ask yourself, where did I see blessings for this day? Where did I see the blessings of God? By going back through our day and remembering those things, we can do better at taking stock of when God has been working in our lives and how grateful we need to be. I've talked about it before, but just saying thank you is prayer enough. And quite frankly, friends, we really could say thank you every second of every minute of every hour of every day if we thought about it. Because just the fact that we live and breathe is a gift from God. So remember the leper, the one leper out of the ten who turned around and came back to Jesus and try during your day to be one of those people who turns around and says, thank you. Amen. Now would you join with me as we pray the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, you alone know the secrets of our hearts. You alone understand the burdens we carry and the pain that we bear. As we make our way through this life, we need your healing grace. Grant us not only those things that we ask for, but more importantly, give us those good things that we need. Bless all those whose lives are closely linked with ours. On this morning, we lift up to you all those who are on our hearts and minds. We pray this day for peace in the Holy Land, for Israelis and Palestinians, for Jews and Muslims and Christians. We pray for justice and an end to war. We pray for Ukraine. We pray for people suffering the ravages of war. We pray for peace in that land. We pray for our government, for our president and our president-elect. We pray for peace among Americans, that we might do a better job understanding one another. And lastly, dear Lord, we give you thanks for all the abundance and bounty of this life. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen.